Today, we're testing a really smart gadget for easy battery monitoring. All right, let's take a look at the device. It comes in a plain little black box. On the bottom of the box, there's a QR code that lets you download the user manual directly to your smartphone. It's about one and a half centimeters thick and six centimeters wide, just as wide as the batteries we typically like to use in our aircraft. The serial number is printed on the back. It features the standard 6.3 millimeter automotive electrical connectors arranged in a way that allows it to be inserted into an existing installation. The device is protected by a 15 amp fuse. Since virtually everyone owns a smartphone these days, it makes sense to display the battery status right on your phone. There's an app for that. Just search for LXNAV Battery Monitor in the App Store and install it. The program is small, so installation only takes a few seconds. We'll open the app in a moment and we'll need to confirm that we want to receive battery alarms and warnings. This can be disabled later. You'll also have to allow the app to search for Bluetooth devices or it won't connect. To make the battery monitor discoverable, press and hold its button for two seconds. The indicator will light up blue. At that point, you should see the device appear on your phone. And here, we can already see the device, clearly labeled with the serial number to avoid any confusion. When pairing a battery for the first time, we need to provide a few details. First, a name so we can identify it later. Second, the device type. Third, the capacity and battery type. There are four options to choose from. With this information, the device can calculate the estimated discharge time under load. Fourth, the device priority. And fifth, whether this battery should be included in the overall runtime calculation. Once we've entered all that, the final pairing can take place. The phone will ask for confirmation. We tap yes, and the data is available immediately. Okay, what else do we have here? By pressing the push button once the device will came up from the sleep mode, otherwise pressing shortly on the device shows you the battery state of charge with four LEDs. Pressing the button longer than 10 seconds, it erases all pairing data. The device can be installed in between an existing installation. It draws only a minimal amount of energy. It enters into sleep mode when the current drops below a configurable limit. As you can see in the measurements, it's very accurate. Our test device had a better voltage accuracy than the stated 1.8%. Such a device replaces a handheld multimeter. We all know how complicated it can be to generate data about the battery's health. This gadget helps tremendously and makes life somehow easier. And what can we see in the display? First, it has to be mentioned that batteries can be grouped together. We often have two or three batteries in a plane. The upper section of the screen features a gauge displaying the total state of charge for the entire battery group, along with an estimate of the remaining time based on the current power consumption for the group. The lower section contains a list of connected batteries. Clicking on a specific battery opens the detailed battery screen. The upper section includes a gauge showing the battery's state of charge, so C, estimated remaining time, and status, charging, discharging, full, or relaxed. The relaxed status is displayed when the battery remains idle with no load for a certain period. The lower section provides detailed information, including voltage, current, and temperature, along with the SOC timeline and factory details of the battery monitor. Swiping right reveals statistical data about the battery's operation in the last cycle. This gives a good indication about the battery performance. In addition, 
users can reset the state of health, CUH, by pressing the SOH indicator. The software update works like a charm. If you have an internet connection, simply open the app settings, select firmware upgrade, and choose the device you want to update. Press confirm, and the rest is done automatically. Very important, do not turn off the power during the update process. In my setup, the update completed in just 15 seconds. Finally, I'd also like to suggest two improvement ideas. First, when I received an error saying the initial SOC state of charge could not be calculated, it would have been helpful if the manual mentioned that this value becomes available after at least one full discharge charge cycle, sometimes even earlier. Second, it might be a good idea to implement an identify button in the app. When pressed, it could activate the monitor LEDs on the device, making it easier to physically identify which unit is being addressed. Okay, nice. And how can I use it with my big LX9000? You can. You just need an additional device called the DAQ. The DAQ is an analog to digital converter, giving you the possibility to convert any analog signal to a digital value, as an example, the remaining oxygen pressure. It has four inputs, and values can be displayed on the LX screen. This device connects to the battery monitors via Bluetooth on one side and to the LX via RS-485 on the other side. Instead of pairing with the phone, you pair the devices with the DAQ, controlled via the big LX. Simply set the monitors into pairing mode and press the scan button on the LX. Here you can see an example installation with three batteries. Two are connected through battery monitors and one via direct analog inputs. You can choose how the battery status is displayed on the LX screen. Overall, the LX Nav battery monitor is a very helpful and user-friendly addition to battery management.